Hello Lakeside, this is Carrington Salazar. And I'm Mallory Sverkowski bringing you this week's news. I wish I could have competed in the talent show last year. Don't fret, tryouts for this year's show are on Wednesday at 3.30 in the auditorium. Speaking of talent, did you watch the Oscars? Duh, it's my biggest dream to win an Oscar one day. Well, here's your chance. Broadcasting 2 students are looking for a few good men or women for their short films. See Mr. Slayton for more information. His room is on the other end of the world across from the gym. You could be the next Leonardo DiCaprio. There are a lot of talented people at our school, and some of them showed their talent at the Miss Lakeside pageant over the weekend. Oh yeah, I missed it. How did it go? Glad you asked, because we did a story on it. It was really fun. Um, it was nice having all the girls support each other and getting all dressed up and performing. Hello, I am junior Miss Contestant number two, Kendall Webb. Good evening, I'm Miss Contestant Courtney DeVay. Hi, I'm junior Miss Contestant number two, Bailey. Hi, I'm Miss Contestant number three, Courtney Tran. Good evening, I'm Miss Contestant number four, Sophie Fleischman. Hi, I'm Miss Contestant number five, Lillian. The talent portion of the pageant was very impressive. Let's take a look at their performances. about the Spanish train thief? I did not. His motives were, ooh, I butchered that. <laughs> he had locomotives, was, was the correct punch. The MC seemed really funny. I wish I could have been there to see it. You know who else is funny? Miss Epperhart. This Thursday is a Spanish Honor Society luncheon in her room. Sign up to bring food. You know where else there will be food? Every Tuesday morning at FCA at 7.30 in the complex. There are always donuts and everyone is welcome. FCA isn't only for athletes. Speaking of athletes, we did a story on the baseball team. Let's take a look. Right, it's up, it's up. You can stand up against a 95 mile hour fastball, you're a pretty good man. Not many people can do that. I love competition, so you gotta pretty, be a pretty good athlete to play baseball and uh, it's all about competing, see how tough you are. My expectations for the season, we're going to be a tough team to beat. Every time we go out, we're going to do things, we'll lay down bunts, we'll get hit by pitches, we'll do things that are hard for the other team to beat us. Hopefully for us that will translate into conference championship and playing in Bomb Stadium at the end of the year. We have one of the toughest schedules uh, at the beginning of the year. If you look at our first five, six, seven games, there's probably not a team in the state, even 7A with the better schedule. So right now it's not about wins Attaboy. and losses. You know, it's a lot about finding out who we are as a team. We've been through turned. some struggles already, and we've been through some ups and downs, and I'm just looking to start the year out on a positive note. The favorite part of our baseball team is is the bonding. I mean, all these guys out here, my brothers, and uh, I love all of them. Love the coaches. Love our coaches, man. They do a lot for us, and uh, it's just fun to bond with our team, man. They're great people, and it's just fun to have a second family. Leave it, leave it, John, leave it, John. I just want to see if they're going to run over there. You can get a baseball athlete and put him, give him a ball or any other sport, and he can compete. And But if you give any other athlete a chance to go up against a 95 mile hour fastball, they can't do it. So uh, that just means that it's, it takes a special kind of skill to play baseball. Not many people can do it. You're right, we're done, baby. Do you think that the baseball team will do good this year? I sure hope so. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you want to travel the world? Well, here's your perfect opportunity. The 2017 spring break trip is visiting the European cities of Berlin, Auschwitz, Prague, Krakow, and Budapest. They will also be visiting many World War II sites, including concentration camps in Poland. See Mr. Pumphrey for the details. By the way, yearbooks are still on sale in Mrs. Davis's room, room 207, for $65. Hey, Mallory, do you know who this is? I don't know, and neither do these students. A king. You. Charlemagne. Maddie. <laughs> Why are you on there, Maddie? 
<laughs> oh, that's Britney. Britney Spears on Britney drugs. Britney Spears. <laughs> this. You can't say cuss words. 2007 Britney Spears. That's me. I don't know. <laughs> it's our vice president, no. Joe Biden. Oops. Uh, is it Joe Biden? Oh my God. I totally know that person. Joe Biden! I knew it was Joe Biden! But I didn't want to say it and act like an idiot. Julius Caesar? Jesus! Just kidding. <laughs> Kevin Pumphrey. The worst person in the world, Donald Trump. <laughs> Ew! No. We don't speak of him. Trump! Make America great again! Napoleon? No, that's. Yeah, it is. Is it? I don't know. He... Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> John Fletcher. It's John Fletcher. John Fletcher. Bieber. My boy. My boyfriend. No, no, that's uh, Justin that's Bieber. Uh, My boyfriend. Uh, Miss Mackinvale. Oh, Mackinvale. Uh, a queen? Me? I don't. <laughs> Uh, Lady Catherine de Boer? No. <laughs> Queen Elizabeth? No. Do I keep... <laughs> yeah, Catherine the Great. Your mom? I guess until I get it Queen right. Victoria. <laughs> or I know Linda Self! <laughs> Linda Self. Self. Or Self. <laughs> Uh, that's a teacher. Uh, your teacher. I think his name is Mr. Slayton. Yeah. Um, that is, I don't know, Alexander Graham Bell? No. The, no? Uh oh. <laughs> I self beat myself! <laughs> what? They did better than I thought they would do. Well, this has been Carrington Salazar and Mallory Sprakoski with, with Lakeside, Lakeside TV. TV. So say